Uh, Mr. Tech Easy here coming at you with a uh, video on changing out the RAM or memory on the uh, the aluminum unibody MacBook. Um, this was the version uh, after the polycarbonate. Uh, they only made it for a short stretch. Um, it looks like a MacBook Pro uh, for the most part. Um, uh, this model had the removable uh, battery tray on the bottom and hard drive access. Um, but this right here looks like a MacBook Pro. Uh, if you look at it here, it looks like a MacBook Pro. Um, one difference is that uh, along the bottom here, uh, it just says MacBook, no Pro. Uh, it doesn't have a backlit keyboard, um, doesn't have the SD card slot, um, and also does not have a FireWire port. Um, uh, so other than that, uh, it's pretty similar as far as the, uh, as an actual MacBook Pro. Um, so anyways, we are going to flip this over the lens back, put on something so you don't scratch it up. I've just got a piece of foam pad there. Uh, on this model, again, it's got this little lever you press down, pull it up. It's got this tray. Flips right open like so. Pretty easy to get into. Um, these ones have a removable battery. Mac didn't do that for very long, but there you go. The battery is removed. I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to go ahead and close this lever back down. Uh, so now we have eight screws. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We need to remove these screws. They are different. The ones along the back here where the hinge of the LCD is at. Uh, there's one short one. I'm just going to set them right there for right now so you can see them. And three long ones. <clears throat> so one short, three long for the back. And these other four screws we're removing, uh, they're small but they're a little bit longer than the one short screw on the back. I'm just going to remove those real quick. there we have it. So I'm going to go ahead and put all these screws back here out of the way. And now uh, this little panel right here, uh, you can use your thumbs and grab at the back edge where the, again, the LCD hinge is at and pull it right off like so. Ta-da! <coughs> Pretty simple. Uh, this is one of the uh, 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 easier Macs to get into just because it has the uh, removable tray which gives easy access to a hard drive. Um, really if you wanted to change out the hard drive right now, it's one more screw right here that pulls out this bracket. Uh, let's just go ahead and do that. We'll make this a two-in-one video. So there we go. You just pull that up. This little bracket right there that holds the hard drive in place. Uh, now here we can grab our hard drive. I'm going to use a little plastic spudger. As you can see the hard drive, I'm going to be careful it's got a cable attached to it right here. Hard drive has these special uh, mounting screws on, on all four corners there that go in. Um, if you're going to replace the hard drive you need to replace those screws as well. Um, so right now I'm just going to go ahead and pull this bracket the SATA bracket off the hard drive and just wiggle that off. Ta-da! Hard drive out. Again, if you want to um, replace the hard drive and you're putting a new one on, you'll need to pull these screws out and put them in the new hard drive before it goes back in. It's what holds it in place. Um, and these ones right here, uh, they usually take a T6 uh, Torx bit. Um, and then you can take those off. So I'm just going to set that aside for right now. So here we are to the memory. Memory's right here. Um, basically, they've got these plastic levers right here. We're going to pull them aside, and the memory is going to kind of pop up a little bit. So I'm going to pull that aside right there. There's one stick. This right here is just a uh, one gig stick. These take a uh, DDR3, uh, PC3, 8500 speed. Um, so now our second one's in there. I'm just going to do the same thing right there. Pull out. One gig stick. 
uh, DDR3. So then at this point, we're going to put our replacement RAM in. <coughs> And put these in, they kind of go in at an angle. You want to put the bottom one in first. You want to make sure they're kind of stacked on top of each other. Or make sure it's going into the bottom slot. Just push it in a little bit so you can't feel that it's pushing in any further. And then you just push down on the top until it snaps into place and sits right there. Basically do the same thing with the second one. Put it in at an angle so you can't push any further and then push down on it until it snaps into place. Voila! That is a memory replacement. <clears throat> uh, this is an A1278 model um, which actually carried out over a lot of different MacBook models so they're not always exactly the same as far as taking the backs off. Um, but this is for the aluminum MacBook non-pro unibody um, which are all going to be like this. So. I'm going to put our hard drive back in really quick. Again, you just want to take care of this cable. It's kind of tight in there. Push that onto the SATA port. Uh, and you always want to put this back side in first, kind of at an angle like we did the memory, like so. Uh, and the reason being is because those are just holes that that has to pop into. On this side, they're half holes, which it drops down into. And then they get tightened down with these. So our little bracket goes back in. Little bracket will only go one way. I don't know if you can see this in the video here, but this edge has a little bump on it where the screw is. And if you look on the uh, frame right here, there's a little bump that has to slide right in there. Put that in. Just hand tighten it. Voila. Battery goes back in, again in an angle, kind of like we did the memory. Oh, actually, you know what? The, because we moved the bracket earlier, uh, that actually locks us into place. So we're actually going to put this back panel on first. My mistake there as far as a little bit out of order, but... So again, this will go in before the battery, um, or even right now if we use this bracket. It slides this little mechanism that locks the battery into place. So again, when it's lo locked like, down like that, the battery will not seat in properly. But if we press that up, now the battery's seated in all the way. Close it down again, battery won't come out. So battery's back in. Now we're going to put our screws back in. I'm going to bring them back over here really quick. So again, there's four uh, smaller screws, kind of medium size and length. Those all go along the edge here where the battery and hard drive is. You want to make sure to take care when screwing these in uh, not to cross thread them. Usually what I'll do is I'll screw them all in loosely. Don't screw one down tight because then if all the other ones aren't lined up well, Sometimes the screw has a hard time going in and can get cross-threaded uh, and strip out, and we don't want that. So there's screw two. Screw three. If you ever feel like it's cross-threading or it's not quite going in right, uh, bring it back out and try redoing it again. Better be safe than sorry. Now I'm going to put in along the back row three longer screws. I just set those into place. And the fourth screw is that shorter screw. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Again, not tight all the way. Screw the rest of these in, not quite all the way tight. All right, this last one, all of them are in. Uh, not screwed tight. Now we're going to start screwing them down tight. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back panel screwed down. Uh, again, this lever has to be popped open in order to put this level back on. 
Once again, kind of at an angle like the RAM and the hard drive and the battery. We stick that in, press it down. Once it presses down, it actually locks it into place. There we go. We've replaced the memory in a MacBook in 10 minutes, basically. Powered on for good measure. There's the chime. That's a good sign. Means the memory is taking. So there you go, Mr. Tech Easy, bringing another uh, easy to follow video to you. If you have any video requests, uh, requests on how to do anything uh, specifically with Macs, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment. Uh, please like the video if it was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. Uh, again, I try to do one video a week. It's kind of a new channel, but I'll get things rolling. So thanks.